Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Um, after my last couple videos around the top cards in my collection, I thought it might make sense to talk about how you could also build a really good vintage rookie card collection on a budget. So that being said, I pulled a couple cards from my collection that really aren't that expensive comparatively to other players. These Some of these players are some of the best of all time in their position. They're also, all these cards are from the 1960s. So we get true Hall of Fame, best of the best, plus 1960s vintage at a reasonable price. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first card is the 1966 Rookie Stars Don Sutton. This one is in a PSA 6. The value in a PSA 6 currently on eBay, you could pick one up for about $140. So Don Sutton was a Hall of Famer, class in 1998. He sits in two different clubs that are basically the best for pitchers. The two, the two best clubs for pitchers are the 3,000 strikeout club, the 300 win club. So Don Sutton has both over 3,000 strikeouts and over 300 wins in his career, and he was a four-time All-Star. And you could pick up his 1966 Topps rookie card and, a, and an excellent six for only $140. Next card is the 1966 Topps Ferguson Jenkins rookie card. This card in a six goes for about $195 on eBay. He is a Hall of Fame class of 1991. He is in the 3000 strikeout club. He didn't quite make the 300 win club. He had 284 career wins, but he's also a Cy Young award winner and a three-time All-Star. Next card, 1965 Topps Joe Morgan and a SGC5. This card goes on eBay for about $150. Joe Morgan was a Hall of Fame class of 1990. For, in his career, he had two MVP awards, five Golden Gloves, he was a 10-time All-Star, and a two-time Major League Baseball Player of the Year. Most lists of the greatest players of all time, Joe Morgan's almost always in the top 50, if not in the top 30. And you could pick up his rookie card, and a five for $150. This, that's probably the best deal for the quality of player for a vintage rookie card, possibly in, in all of baseball card hobby. And number four is a 1964 Topps Phil Necro and a five. This goes on eBay for about $300. Phil Necro is the Hall of Fame class of 1997. There were 3,000 strikeouts, 300 win club, He's a five-time Golden Glove and a five-time All-Star. So as you can see, you know, for $300 or less, in many cases, you know, less than $200, you could pick up a good condition card, vintage card from the 60s of, you know, Hall of Fame players that are at the top of their game. So when we look at collecting and we look at building out our collection, it's definitely possible to get good cards at a reasonable price and not break the bank. Some other ways to potentially do this is to purchase cards that aren't people's rookie cards, right? So one of the examples that I like to give for this is a 1976 Topps Johnny Bench, this card here. So in my opinion, this is probably his best looking card. You could pick up this card on eBay in a uh, PSA 7 for $55, right? So, you know, that's the great part of the hobby. We could enjoy doing it, we could enjoy collecting, we can do it on any budget. All right, thanks for watching and happy collecting.